Hi everyone, welcome to Healthcare Domain Knowledge Sessions. Last video, we discussed about the process, how healthcare business works, how patient reach to the hospital and how these bills work, what is the primary and secondary insurances. And in this video, we will be majorly talking about the key players. The key players makes a very important role uh, when we are talking about complete healthcare business in any aspect, we will be we will be looking uh, repeatedly to these key players, and we should have good understanding on this each and every key player, so that we will be having thorough understanding, and uh, we will be having in and out understanding on this. Uh, process so if you look into the us healthcare business key players we have providers payers purchasers or employees or members subscribers agents and brokers so if you look at here the providers the person entity which provides the medical service for patients is known as provider for example physicians nurses hospitals pharmacies and laboratories in few cases those are also referred as suppliers who supplies the uh, things so uh, if you look at here in a general terminology who provide the service to the individuals or uh, uh, the insurers who have taken the insurance for them like the who provide the service uh, we will call it as a provider and if you look into the payer the payers also called as a carriers or insurers payers organizations are individuals that finance or reimburse the cost of health services such as insurance companies health plans and the federal government so uh, when we talk about these payers, uh, we have so many examples like you know, Aetna and Sigma. Uh, there are so many companies uh, like you know, who provide us insurance. And uh, when we, when patients or subscribers are like, you know, uh, they go to hospital and like, you know, take the uh, uh, services. So for them, like, you know, uh, these are the payers will get paid. So hospitals or uh, providers will submit uh, claims to the payers and uh, they will settle the claims. They are the one like, you know, they are the owners of the insurance. So insurance companies, they are going to settle the uh, claims and we will call them as payers. And purchasers are employees, organizations are individuals that pay the premium for the healthcare plan such as employees or individuals insured. So when we talk Talk about uh, purchasers, uh, for example, like, you know, I work for uh, IBM. So IBM is the purchaser or uh, employer who provides the employment to the multiple people or group of people. So they will be having uh, some deals with the payers and uh, they will purchase like, you know, these policies uh, that is like, you know, group policies or individual policies and they will give it to the uh, members or subscribers. So uh, they are going to pay, uh, make like, you know, complete payment. So the members will not make any premium amount, but they will be having like you know some uh, sessions or some classes like you know uh, they may have to pay some partial amount that is a deductible or copay that will be there but uh, the premium amount are paid by employers employees will pay the premium amount and they purchase the uh, policy and they give it to the employees so so that like you know they will get benefit so under this like you know the employee under uh, even the dependents also will be covered that is like you know depends on the policies of policy and the benefit plan to benefit plan the cost and deductible and copay amount may vary so uh, that we will see like you know in further how it will impact so for example uh, if you are looking for like you know very good plan if employer like you know takes a, a very good plan and provides to the employees then uh, the, there will be like you know, very less deductible and uh, very less copy amount if it is like you know uh, very normal or like you know uh, uh, just they intend to provide just a policy then uh, they are not going to bear much amount uh, like you know by paying very lesser amount uh, they may take a benefit plan so in that case as well, uh, the member has to make more amount so the member or subscribers are the individuals who enroll themselves or the employees uh, who take the policy behalf of them and give it to the members they are all like you know subscribers so all the subscribers uh, will have uh, dependents will not have dependents so in some cases like you know they will have dependents for example next person got married and is having wife and kids so uh, the dependents by default like you no know, it will be covered uh, for the subscriber 
and uh, like you know whoever is like you know getting covered uh, there will be some deductible amount right group deductible amount we will call it as group deductible amount so uh, the family members uh, has to pay a certain amount so before like you know consuming that uh, uh, premium amount that complete like you know uh, benefit of the policy so that we have to uh, keep in mind and also there will be like you no know, uh, Uh, primary and the secondary insurance so that already we discussed in the last video let me repeat again the primary insurance talks about uh, uh, like you no know, it will go to like you no know, first priority for the claims and the secondary insurance goes to like you no know, second priority for all the claims for example the primary insurance uh, uh, complete amount got over uh, the whatever the eligibility amount is there that is got over then it will go to secondary insurance so uh, when a uh, two persons like you no know, wife and husband both are working for two different companies and uh, they will be having like you no know, two different policies so uh, in both the policies they will be covered so even for kids also they will it will be covered so when we go to hospital and when we submit the form or when we take a treatment so we will be filling this is the like you no know, primary insurance will be covering and this is the secondary insurance will be covering based on that they are going to send the claim to the specific uh, party specific uh, uh, party so uh, it will get settled from that specific uh, payer to the uh, provider so that's how like you know, this will work and agents and brokers so how we have like you no know, agents if you wanted to buy any insurance that may be like you no know, car insurance or bike insurance or life insurance there will be like you no know, multiple parties multiple agents so uh, we will go and deal with them we cannot go and deal with the directly with the company sometimes it will happen most of the cases uh, will be having mediators or uh, we'll call them as them as like you no know, middleman so Uh, they are going to approach us, or uh, they will provide. Like they will explain all the uh, benefits what we are going to get, and uh, like you know, we are we can we can subscribe the things. So uh, here, brokers also will be having certain benefits. Uh, like they will be having some kind of commission system, and also they are all these brokers are like you no know, all certified brokers. Uh, others like you no know, cannot go and enter into this business. Uh, they should have certificate, and uh, there will be some uh, uh, terms and conditions like you no know, with the. government and they should be approved only those brokers like you know can deal with the uh, this kind of uh, business so all these brokers and sub brokers will be having a different slabs uh, like you know 10% 20% 30% like that they will be having a different slabs and uh, they will get when they get more uh, members or subscribers the payers is going to pay some commission to the uh, agents or brokers sub brokers so this is how uh, the financial things like you know, will get settled the most of the companies uh, will be building this uh, uh, broker portals so if you are working for uh, any uh, healthcare industry definitely like we will be having this kind of broker broker portals so member portal broker broker portal and payers portal and uh, providers portal all these things so uh, brokers also will have a different uh, portal so you will be uh, have to provide some certain access to them and uh, they are going to enroll the members from their uh, portal and uh, Uh, health plan services and terms so if you look at here we have uh, certain things to uh, learn so here like you know uh, primary care and uh, specialty care specialist referral outpatient uh, ancillary services so uh, these are all also like you know very important factors and uh, key factors uh, here the primary care physician or like you know primary care we will call it as a primary care or pcp general medicare with focus on Uh, preventive care and the diagnosis the treatment of the routine injuries and illnesses which is provided directly to a patient without referral from another physician so uh, if you are taking an uh, insurance so you will be having an pcp so pcp is like you know primary care physician so uh, uh, while taking uh, insurance so you can select a primary care physician uh, by your own if you don't know anything then uh, the uh, the team the insurance team is going to provide uh, one pcp to you so if you are getting if you are ill or if you are not keeping well you can directly go and visit a primary care physician and he is going to diagnose you and uh, so you know if it is like you no know, small issue if it is a fever or cough something like you no know, which is under his control he can do it 
uh, he will he will treat you and he will provide medicine if it is like you know uh, something uh, a specialty required for that something like you know something related to cardiology or something else then definitely like you know he is going to uh, send you to the specialist next level the secondary care physician or specialty care physician we will call it as he is going to refer uh, another like you know physician so that like you, know, you can go and visit a eh? Uh, specialty care physician they are like you no know, specialized and uh, uh, for uh, outpatients and inpatient they provide the service and specialist specialist is also like you know related to a specialty like you know cardiology oncology and radiology or gastrology all this kind of like you no know, specialist come into the uh, this uh, uh, this category so uh, they are going to look into the like you no know, specific to one related uh, any disease for for example like you know, if it is a heart related then uh, cardiology is going to uh, take care the like no uh, complete uh, complete thing referral a recommendation by a physician and a health plan for a member be evaluated and treated by a different physician or medical profession who may be a primary care physician or specialist he is also called as a uh referring provider so primary care physician if he feel that like you no know, uh, he has to refer to someone so uh, nearby your home or nearby your city then he is going to refer uh, uh, to the different physician that we will call it as a referral outpatient service in the sense like you no know, uh, without spending that 24 hours of the time so even uh, in india or the, any other country if you if you wanted to like you no know, eligible for the uh, the uh, insurance insurance uh, coverage then you should be in the hospital like you know 24 hours so in us like you no know, different case uh, like you know even for uh, outpatient also the insurance uh, applicable so you just have to pay the certain amount even for outpatient also it will cover uh, certain amount you have to pay that we will call it as a copay amount outpatient outpatient services something services provided by a hospital or other uh, healthcare facility without the patient staying overnight or uh, 24 by 7 so this is like you know outpatient service and uh, ancillary services like you know outpatient or ancillary services that support the diagnosis and treatment of a patient condition supplemental services needs along with other care included laboratory work pharmacy services radiology physical therapy and uh, uh, medical supplies and ambulance services all this comes under Uh, ancillary services thank you all for watching this video uh, definitely look forward i will be making more and more videos uh, with a detailed manner uh, definitely it will help you uh, to learn uh, more healthcare knowledge understand healthcare understand healthcare healthcare and healthcare domain terminologies uh, it will help you in your career uh, thank you thank you for watching this video please do subscribe